Hi everybody, recently I designed a brand new open source hardware development board with ESP32C3 capable of controlling a strip with addressable LEDs such as NeoPixels or WS2812B. Uh, Anavi Miracle Emitter comes as a do-it-yourself kit. There are different options, but all kits come with uh, acrylic enclosures and in this video I'm gonna show you how to assemble the acrylic enclosure to the printed circuit board. Anavi Miracle Emitter has a gold plated black printed circuit board with white silk screen. It comes in a kit that includes two acrylic enclosures, four screws and eight nuts. There is also an antenna which optionally can be attached to the dedicated connector on the Xiao module with ESP32C3. This is the most basic kit. Other versions of the kits include more peripheral devices including mini OLED display and a LED strip with new pixels. Let's start with the step-by-step -step instructions how to assemble Anavi Miracle Emitter. The process is simple and straightforward. Although you can do it even with your bare hands, it's recommended to use a screwdriver. Step number one is to peel off the protective film. There are two acrylic enclosures. On each side of each acrylic enclosure, there is a protective film. This makes in total four protective films. Removing the protective film is a bit annoying, but once you remove all protective films from all sides of the acrylic enclosures, these enclosures will be crystal clear. The second step is to assemble the top acrylic enclosure. Take the four screws and place them in the mounting holes of the acrylic enclosure. Fasten them with four nuts. You can see how I'm doing this step in the video, it's super simple. Step number three. Take the printed circuit board of Anavi Miracle Emitter and place it on the screws below the top acrylic enclosure. After that, take four nuts and fasten the PCB to the top acrylic enclosure with them. Step number four, take the bottom acrylic enclosure, place it below the printed circuit board on the screws and fasten it with four nuts. Optionally, you can take a screwdriver and further fasten the screws and the nuts of Anavi Miracle Emitter. Step number five is optional. Anavi Miracle Emitter comes with an external antenna and if you want, you can attach it to the Xiao module ESP32C3 that's included on the printed circuit board. There is a dedicated connector, so if you want, you can place the ex external antenna in this connector to increase the signal strength of the wireless connectivity. I repeat that this step is optional. I recommend you first to try Anavi Miracle Emitter without the antenna and after that if you decide that you need the antenna to place it on the printed circuit board. Thank you very much for watching this video. Some of you may know my previous project Anavi Miracle Controller. Uh, this was a board that I designed a few years ago around ESP8266 uh, and it was for the same purpose. It was capable of controlling two um, addressable LED strips and now I have smaller version. This is the Anavi Miracle Emitter. This video was uh, for assembling the acrylic enclosure of Anavi Miracle Emitter. Uh, I hope this video will be useful for uh, any owners of Anavi Miracle Emitter. In next videos uh, I'll show you uh, the further capabilities of this little new board and the peripherals that you can attach on it. Of course I'll also show you how it works over MQTD with Home Assistant. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for new videos.